I decided to interview Sean and Danny, who both go to Eliso Niguel High School, and they both play on the water polo team. I am uh, recording the the outside of the water polo uh, pool because I was not allowed to go inside and get any footage of the pool, but they did allow me to take some video footage of the outside and see how it looks. And uh, these are some uh, videos and, and uh, images of uh, what the outside of the pool looks like. They are going to explain to us how playing through a pandemic has been for the team and for themselves. I'm interviewing uh, Kyle, who goes to Eliso Viejo High School, and he's on the water polo team. Uh, is it okay that you're going to be on camera for this? Yeah, that's fine. That's Perfect. Fair. Okay. Um, what are some challenges you have faced as an individual um, and a team? So as an individual, I've been pretty lucky, fortunately. All my family's been good. Everyone's healthy. We took the right precautions during COVID, so we stayed at home. We didn't we social distance. We were wearing a mask and everything. We're starting to get our vaccines right now, so we're all good to go. We went back, and we've been practicing and stuff, because I have a pool in my backyard. And then my team isn't so lucky. A couple of my members lost some family members, and they haven't been able to practice because, unfortunately, like, no, not many of them have pools, yeah. so it's kind of hard to keep up with their cardio and stuff. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. I, I hope your teammates get better. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Um, uh, next question. Uh, how is playing with no masks with other, you know, with other kids? At first it was kind of scary because like we didn't know like what to expect really. But like as time went on and like vaccines started coming out, like I felt more comfortable to go out there and we get tested pretty, pretty regularly. So like I feel safe out there. Okay, good. Uh, what are some things you guys have done as a team to get through the pandemic? So we had some like Zoom calls, got every, all the boys together and had some new calls, caught up with each other, did that regularly, had good intentions and stuff. And then also I heard a bunch of my, or a bunch of the players on the team uh, were starting to play like Warzone and like yeah. some Call of Duty games. So they had put in like stay in touch and stuff. Okay. Has your coach done any like special activities with you guys or has, it, has he been unable to because of the pandemic? For the most part he was unable to, but now he's been able to like do some stuff and get the bows together. Okay. Um, is there anything else you would like to add to this interview? Yeah, I just hope everyone's been staying safe and hopefully I'm ready for this season. All, uh, a bunch of my players are trying to come back, so like, we should be doing good. Perfect. Uh, yeah, no, I hope you guys have a great season and you guys stay safe and uh, keep me posted on how you guys do. Thank you, I really appreciate that. Yeah, I'm interviewing Danny, who goes to Alicia Viejo High School and he plays on the water polo team. How are you doing? Good, good, good. How about you? I'm doing good, thank you. Um, is it okay that you'll be filmed for this uh, interview? No, it's perfectly fine. That's fine. Perfect. Uh, what are some challenges you have faced as an individual and as a team? So, um, as an individual, I have been like separated from my team, like no contact other than through phone, no personal contact. I haven't been as I haven't been with them as much. This pandemic really like took me down to like a depression almost. So, like to the point that I didn't even know like what to do, mm -hmm. and like I, I took water polo very seriously. So like, and then I after this like I, the pandemic came it hit hard. But as a team, like we have been like canceling games, practices have been hard. Like it's just every looks like if the team has lost like their own chemistry pretty much. Yeah, I understand that. Um, how is it playing with no maths with a bunch of other kids? Well. Uh, as a water polo, we're, we're playing water, so like mm -hmm. we won't be really needing masks, but we still keep we still try to keep our distance, and there's not as much contact as the, what there was back then when there was no pandemic. But other than that, it's like it's fine. Like I don't think there's a point of having a mask on when you're in water. Yeah. <clears throat> um, has anything good uh, happened to you guys as a team? For example, have you guys grown more close, or the opposite? Um, well, it's, it's like kind of the same, like, we've been getting a little bit of contact, we've been getting, like, close every once in a while, but it, it after, like, this, like I said before, like, the pandemic has really hit us hard, so, like, not majority of the people, not majority of the teammates have been able to come out, because, like, majority of the families are scared of, like, how the pandemic has been, so, like, we'll get, like, not even half the team to see each other. Mm -hmm. Like, so, like, we'll eventually be, like, separated, we can't do much, like, the only way, like, that's, like, the whole team communicates pretty much, like, 
video games or like FaceTime. But like it, it's like this pandemic has really hurt the team a lot. Like I said before, the chemistry is like completely almost gone. Yeah. We we don't really communicate as much as we were before. Everything's just been hard. Like like it's just it's been pretty bad. This pandemic has hit us really bad to the point that like there's really no point for like us in the team to like be practicing and being with each other as much. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, is there anything else you guys would like to add to this interview? Um, yeah, actually, yeah. So just keep safe and like stay. Don't get yourself into like a very bad spot to the point that you feel like you're depressed. Like, don't let this pandemic take over you. Like, just think about the good, the like the positive things that this has done for you. Mm -hmm. But like, other than that, like, it just try to try to stay strong. Like. It, it, You'll get through it. We'll get through it eventually. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree with that. I um, uh, just wanted to thank yeah. you for uh, um, uh, giving us your time and uh, doing this interview with me. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, good luck in your season. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.